Hey, and welcome back to Mackenzie's Reading Nook. Today's novel is The Daughter of Black Lake, written by Kathy Buchanan. This novel takes place in a first century AD time frame in northern Britannia, located in a northern misty bog surrounded by forest that trails for miles. A small settlement is surviving. The bog and the forest protects them from the Roman invaders who are on the attack in northern Britannia. Where they live protects them. They have everything they need to survive, but barely. Their small settlement has a small wheat field, just enough to feed themselves. However, the bog doesn't make a great place for hoeing wheat. The bog around them makes it hard to hunt, meaning they have to walk three days to the forest. The forest makes a great spot to hunt, catching mostly wild rabbits and small birds. That's if they can make it that long. The forest is full of predators and diseases, and having only a small group of hunters makes it even more difficult to survive. Though the bog in the forest serves as a protective barrier for the villagers, it can also make their work very difficult, as they have to travel long distances to find materials and collect their wheat. Sometimes the bog floods, which means the village is flooded as well as everything they've worked towards is destroyed. These people can't leave the bog, however, as it is crucial for worshipping their Mother Earth. Though the bog in the forest serves as a protective barrier for the villagers, it can also make their work very difficult, as they have to travel long distances to find materials and collect their wheat. Sometimes the bog floods, which means the village is flooded as well as everything they've worked towards is destroyed. These people can't leave the bog, however, as it is crucial for worshipping their Mother Earth. The time frame is a crucial part of everything going on in this story. Taking us back in time, it's surreal. Knowing the culture is based off true events, as religion was a huge part of Northern Britannian culture. It's interesting to see how much a culture can be impacted by their religion. The people in this novel believe in Mother Earth. They believe that everything is impacted by their choices, and if somebody in their village didn't adhere to their social norms, Mother Earth would punish them. Mother Earth could punish them with a drought, or she could diminish the amount of harvest they ha- they got that season. In order to set things right again with their Mother Earth, they would often make a sacrifice. Depending on the severity of what was happening, their sacrifice could be wine, it could be the hunt they made that day, Or it could be someone in their village, generally of a lower social class. They believed that once a woman had her period, that she needed to find a spouse and that she needed to have a child. Devout, a young girl in the village becomes of age and has to find a spouse. After many years, she has a child and her daughter is born with a limp. She believes this is because she lied. Now she devotes more of her time to Mother Earth and makes more small sacrifices of anything that she can. As a healer, she doesn't know how to help her daughter, so she hopes that Mother Earth will fix her. Alright, that's all we have for today. Thank you folks. Have a great day.